There's a reason for everything. I do like to create a world around the clothing. The collection really started with the idea of using uh, the simple fabric of seersucker. And that's exactly what you walk into when you, when you enter the space um, where the collection is being shown. It's really creating a garden purely out of gray and white seersucker, which is very true to the collection because I've used it really from one of my first collections. I want people to see that the collection has a true unique identity and stands on its own and you know maybe sometimes isn't everybody's taste but at least i'm staying true to myself and how i want to approach it and i think that's everything that you see in the show in the collection is exactly what i want people to see no it's too crowded that looks good like that And then you can take that small one and just put it up here. Yeah. Now with this collection, there is a, a strong reference to 18th century dress. And you see that being referenced in regards to the use of Panier and Roba la Polonaise. But it being done in Searsucker, I think, made it live in the world of Tom Brown. You know, this, you come out because you're chilly when you first walk out, and then you drop it and you drag the coat. But it's, it's nice when it's like that. Yeah. Seeing the penier is really good. The collections are where it all starts, but it's important that it starts from a pure design point of view and not a commercial point of view. And it, it really frees up the, the world of creativity in regards to being able to create things that are so much more interestingly provocative and, and interesting to look at, as opposed to always being heavy-handedly commercial. But then in turn, there's a lot that actually can be taken away from the collections and interpret it commercially. Because you also have to be able to support the work that you do. If you're gonna do something conceptual, you have to figure out how that's gonna be supported. So, you know, the business is also something that has to be considered, but after the idea of true creativity.
when we do the rehearsal, I think we should get the shoes and the peñas so they know how much space they're going to be taking up. Yeah. It's grandiose like this. What does it mean to you? It's just all of your secret gardens. Whatever the secret is for you, you have to, you have to play that part. Oh, you're, you're right before the trend. <laughs> what is the secret? The secret what is your secret? It's to have a secret garden inside, <laughs> first of all. I know. Because many people don't have that. You do. Yeah. That's why you're showing it to the world. Yeah. Okay, so is everyone here? Yeah. Hi. Fairy tale music and Porto One Go. Show music and model one go. It's time for your medication, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. by next model in three, two, one, two, one go.
For Maggie, in three, three, two, one, one go, go Maggie. Maggie. Teletubbies. My job is to make people think, make people see sometimes classic ideas more interestingly. It's not always for wearability, it's not always for commercial reasons, it's more to move the needle forward in regards to seeing clothing differently. Stand by for Tom. In three, two, one, go. 